Hello there guys, how's it going? I'm Rasmus from HexHomeWeb.com and today I'm going to show you how to use KeywordFinder.com to find long tail keywords with low difficulty. Um, so yeah, Keyword Finder is the tool I use myself for pretty much all of my keyword research. I use it for Amazon affiliate websites, I use it for my blog posts, I use it for even for YouTube to kind of get an estimate of how popular various search keywords are um, yeah and this tool is really really powerful it comes up with loads of suggestions it gives you um, some metrics and calculates a really accurate difficulty um, score from 1 to 100 on how easy a keyword is to rank um, on top of that as you can see right here you get the keyword finder which is this one here on top of that, you can analyze your competitors, which is really, really powerful. You can also see that right down here, and you're going to see it later. Um, such as domain authority, page authority, and external links, and yeah, the social signals. And you can see the estimated visits you will get from a specific keyword by ranking in a certain position. So that's really, really powerful. And you can customize this a lot to your specific needs. On top of that, we also get the SERP Watcher. So we get all three tools, pretty much a full search engine optimization um, solution in one. So that's why I use this. I can track my pages, I can analyze competitors, and I can find some really great keywords. Okay, so let's jump into it, guys. I'm gonna walk you through the process of how I use Keyword Finder. Um, in this case, I'm going to start with the main keyword, espresso machine here. So let's go ahead and go for it. Now, so here we get a lot of data. Out here we can see we have some pretty broad keywords here um, with similar or somewhat high difficulty. So. As I scroll down, loads of loads of various um, options here to go for. But obviously, some of these are simply way too um, competitive and broad to go for. Let's say we wanted to build a an Amazon affiliate website around espresso machines. Well, what we could do was to add some filtering here. Let's say we want the difficulty to be no more than 30. On top of that, we want keywords that had, has at least 200 searches a month, but no more than, let's say 15,000. So let's set the filters. And as you can see, we have some, we've just narrowed down the results here. Um, what I like to do is actually to click here. So sort by difficulty and go down and see if we have anyone near the below 20 or around 20. So we can see here, this is an example guys, best espresso machine under 200. And the difficulty is 23. Now this is a really, really good keyword to go for. Um, and obviously as we scroll up here, we see right here there's pretty much a similar one just with 500 instead guys um, so these are some very biased intent keywords that people are going to be searching when they are looking to buy an espresso machine so obviously this is perfect for an affiliate site um, so let's just go to the first keyword here best espresso machine under 200 if we look down here we can see um, the Basically, this is like a little window of the SERP checker, search engine rank position checker um, for this specific keyword. And there we can see our competitors. So for this keyword right now, this website is ranking number one. And as we can see, the domain authority is at 32. Page rank, page authority, sorry, is just one. So that's really, really bad. No social signals whatsoever and no Google Plus shares. Um, we can see rank eight. It's really, really easy to beat this website. Um, 
So if we had an exact keyword match in our URL and really target that keyword well in a well-built quality article, we would be able to beat this. And ranking one, this is the estimated visits you can expect from this exact search. Um, yeah, so we could click here and it will open a new window. It will open the keyword up in the SERP checker here, which is basically what we see down here. Here we just have the options to manage uh, the metrics here, as you can see. So let's say I would like to um, external links to subdomain, whatever. We could click done here and we would get them right here. So you can even customize all the metrics. There's loads of things here. Spam score right here, so on, so on. Uh, so we have the options to do that in here if we really want to. So let's say I like this keyword and I like this one as well. Well, to save ourselves some time, we could actually build a list around these keywords. So add to list. Let's click create new list and say espresso. And then later on, as you can see up here, I have 14 lists. I'm not going to show them now because obviously I'm targeting some of these keywords myself. Or I'll just show you, I'll just blur them out. So we see our new list right here. So we can open up that one and we have these right here. And we can see the search sum, total search sum, um, and some other stats here so that are just averages. Um, but generally, that's how I use the um, the keyword finder tool. Now let's say we really like this keyword, obviously. So why don't we search right by clicking there for this set keyword here. So now we get some other, as you can see, some other results. So you can just keep going deeper and deeper. When you find a keyword you like, you can search for that one and so on and so on. If we add our filters again, they are still here. Um, and click like this. We can scroll down and we can actually see here we have some really, really easy keywords. Best espresso machine under 300 and under 100. So it seems like this is a way, good way to target the specific niche here. Um, yeah, guys. So that's just how easy it is to get really, really specific with this tool and find the right keywords to rank for and get that traffic, those low hanging fruit keywords. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching this, guys. Leave a like if you did. And if you want to try the tool, keywordfinder.com, then you can follow the link in the description. Goodbye.